Hello and welcome to PlayStation Grenade. The Uncharted series has been with us since Nate and Elena desecrated Drake's ancestors' graves back in 2007. Are you sure you want to be defiling your ancestors' remains like that? You make it sound so dirty. <laughs> Ten years on, we've met some of the most well-rounded and heartwarming characters we could imagine, and 2017 sees us say goodbye to Nathan Drake to get more up close and personal with secondary characters Chloe and Nadine as they search for a new artifact. Well, an old artifact, but a new one. You know what I mean. I think this is a great idea, and here's seven reasons why we don't need Nathan Drake in Uncharted The Lost Legacy. Oh, you should relax. Live longer. Without a doubt, my personal favourite character in the Uncharted series is Chloe Fraser. Hello. Uh, <clears throat> well, so much for foreplay. Chloe's character is all about having fun on the road to finding treasure. She's witty and has a dark sense of humour too. In terms of physicality, she's less clumsy than Drake and just as good at killing things if that's something to be proud of. She is a career thief and puts those skills to work, unpicking enemy strongholds and weapon caches. Naughty Dog have gone out of their way to show that she is indeed a unique character with unique skills. We met her during Uncharted 2 and she left an imprint on us that we can never forget. <laughs> oh, is that an ancient Tibetan ritual dagger in your pocket? Oh, maybe I'm just happy to see you. Hmm. Yeah, hello. And after a decade, now it's time for Chloe to take the limelight. A new Uncharted game means a new story, a new location, and a bunch of historical and mythological references. The Lost Legacy takes place in India and focuses around the tusk of Ganesh. Ganesh, or Ganesha if you prefer, is a Hindu deity. He's the chap with the elephant head and is regarded as the remover of obstacles, so maybe that will feed into the Lost Legacy story and Chloe and Nadine search for the tusk artifact. One of the story beats is Chloe's fixation on the tusk of Ganesh because her father attempted to find it before her. You could say it's her family's lost legacy. If we're going down the road of Hindu mythology, I'm hoping we may see Shiva at some point and witness Chloe against a god of destruction. Another character returning to the series was one of the antagonists last time around, Nadine Ross. If I remember rightly, she kicked the shit out of us not so long ago. Nadine is a fighting beast, a wrecking ball, and regularly will save Chloe in tight spots and straight up murders enemies whenever she gets the chance. You take left, yeah, I take I right. Remember. What the? That works too. Nice job. She may look like five foot five of fury, but she's actually the perfect foil to Chloe. Nadine is much more matter of fact and less inclined to joke around. The last time we saw her, she locked us in a burning treasure ship, leaving us to die. So a few people may take a little time to warm up to her. Oh, I'm just leaving. Whether you die or not, I don't really care. Nadine, wait. So long, Rafe. Nadine! Chloe and Nadine's skill set and their dialogue may put these two as the dream team in the Uncharted franchise. I was going to talk about having strong women in lead roles, but as gamers we've been on board with that train of thought forever. But this segue lets me say girl power. I don't get to say that much outside of uh, Spice Girl concerts, but that's enough about me. Stop talking, Adam. For those of us who adored Uncharted 4, the mechanics you love are still in place. It's still Uncharted 4 under the hood. The amazing grappling hook, the pinpoint cover shooting, funny and informative dialogue in which you will learn something about mythology, top-notch explosive set pieces, a little bit of stealth and your own unique badassery. One of the key changes or improvements The Lost Legacy has over other Uncharted titles is the subtle shift to open world. This is most definitely a linear outing, but it's less linear than Nathan Drake's trips around the world. From the section we've played, it certainly makes the game feel unique. If you remember the Madagascar section in Uncharted 4, The Lost Legacy takes that level as a starting point and runs with it. Of course, story elements must be completed to move on, but additional things you may never have noticed are there for those of us who want the full experience and have an internal yearning to uncover everything the game has to offer. This area of the game we're seeing now is said to be the biggest area ever seen in the Uncharted series, so big that it needs its own map. Uh, do tell. So this may not be the next Uncharted game with a number on the end, but it's so damn close to being Uncharted 5.
Here's a nice little bonus for multiplayer aficionados. Uncharted The Lost Legacy comes with the online multiplayer scene in Uncharted 4. If you can't live without Nathan, then he's there for you in the multiplayer portion. So you can get your fill of Nate, Sam and Sully. They're all there for you to enjoy. And those of you with Uncharted 4 should be happy too, as more players online can only be seen as a good thing. Finally, it's time to let Nate go. He's had a heck of a journey and, potential spoilers ahead, if he's dead in a ditch after sacrificing himself for a loved one, or if he's bought his own summer house on the beach to retire in, it's time to let him go and think about the future. The sheer volume of great characters in the Uncharted series is plentiful, and many of them are worth their own outings, so let's embrace that. I do expect Uncharted 5 to happen, after a short hiatus that is, and I think it will be centred around the character we met at the very end of Uncharted 4. I won't spoil that if you haven't finished it yet, but the future looks promising for the Uncharted series. So that's it, that's 7 reasons why we don't need Nathan Drake to make Uncharted great. Do you agree with me, or can't you live without Nate and his near death experiences? I'd love to know your thoughts on the Uncharted series. For more videos on Uncharted The Lost Legacy, please subscribe, and a like would be appreciated if you think we're worth it, and a dislike will tell me to up my game. I'm Adam from PlayStation Grenade, it's been a pleasure, I'll see you next time.